Hey there, either. Hold on, fire family. Welcome to another Narjan Reacts. In this, we're reacting to The Legend of Vox Machina, Season 2, Episode 2. If you'd like access to the full unedited reaction, go join my Patreon. The link for it will be in the description down below. But anyway, uh, let's get right into it. Back with the crew after having transport. Wait, there's like no blossoms at all. It worked! <laughs> I can't believe it actually. Ah! Uh, oh! oh so I'm guessing it was the wrong tree. <laughs> I was gonna say there's no blossoms in that tree whatsoever. Stop. No, 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 don't step in. no! Oh, <laughs> oh God! Even trinket. Claw. Oh. Big hawk. It's like the hawk from Lord of the Rings. Oh my God. I wanted to say those were butt cheeks, but I feel like they're boobs. I'm sorry, but that does they that the that does those don't look like boobies. They look like ass cheeks. He's just yeah okay. Okay, that was not my fault. I told Keeper Yenin I have to know the mm -hmm. tree. I mean, she's yeah. So vague. Whoa. Are you even near where you're supposed to be? You guys, we made it. Was that supposed? Was was. Was that tree at the very tippy top of the hill? Was that the one that she was supposed to transport them to? Because <laughs> I don't, it looks like it has like vines hanging from it and stuff. It is a big tree. We made it. She could have literally said it's a tree as big as this one, but instead the trunk goes like this, and then it's like a got vines from it. I feel like that would have been a lot closer to what she described. Vasheim. Vasselheim. Oh, Vasselheim. Sorry. I'm Bamusel Koloski, the ruler of the third. And I require an audience with the Don Marshals well, of my the... name's Rob, and I require a sandwich. You're holding up the line. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand. I have diplomatic credentials. I think he quite understands, but he just doesn't care. From White you want the Marshals, I... go to the Platinum Sanctuary and find him yourself. Now, good day. Good day. Is he freaking Aussie accent? What in the world? Um, did he say good day? Not a good day, good day. And the bear yes, we know. What is it with the- are they like anti-bears or something? Like, Trinket? I would take Trinket over a lot of the people coming in. Uh, <laughs> Trinket giving him the side eye. Actually, that's not a side eye, that's a straight on dead eye. Pretty. Interesting that there's no snow over there. Good day. Good day. Love how Keyleth is just like copying the guard with the good day thing. Taurus. Almost every prime deity is represented. The wild mother, oh, the storm lord, the law bearer. You mean a place where they all respect they respect each other's religions and cults and st I wouldn't say cult, I guess, but religions and stuff. Wow, where you know can we have a place like that in the real world? Just the respect each other. Oh, that is very troubling. <laughs> but that is all. You won't help us? Is this glitching out? Because they're not moving, but their voices are like coming out. <laughs> is this okay? Hold on. All right, that was weird. That was so freaking. I was so confused. I was like, wait, who's talking when they're not moving or anything? Evil must be met with holy. Thank you. So they did move. What the fr- <laughs> That was so confusing. <laughs> Ballista armies. I'm sorry, it is not our problem. If the strong Even though freaking if they don't do anything, it's gonna become their problem. Most potent weapon is not its artillery, young man. It is our It's our belief. Our isolation. Oh. But until then, this peril is yours alone. Wow. Now good day. That is literally your problem is not ours. <laughs> I think you mean good day. Gods. He doesn't agree. Oh, that's a new record. Usually takes us ten minutes to get kicked out of a palace. <laughs> We're getting better. We're getting better. You again. They saw. Interesting. Absolutely not. What? 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 You two? Legendary beasts, like dragons. I'm 
hungry. <laughs> Thanks, stomach. Mm, get some yum yum in my tum tum. Why do I feel like the sword is going to take control of Grog and like make him slaughter people for blood? Because it wants blood. Just keep your cool, find that patron. Get Scalus is going to try and get in bed with one of them. Well, hello there. I feel like I haven't met you yet. V Vex is not gonna like that. They're just so familiar. Where have I seen them before? Wanted sign. <laughs> oh. oh, that's right. You're famous. Eyes up, gang. Whoops. Got I just noticed the guy's in a wheelchair. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? Right, Grog. 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 He's eating. Frog? <laughs> Don't even notice the biggest guy is gone. Ooh. Butterfly. Valhalla. Hmm. He's blind. Oh, I'm Vex. Zara's very close. Oh yeah, that's right. Vex is her. Fox's. Or Vax. You know what? You know what? Vex and Vex. Oh, I wish her names were not so close. Friend. Like money. So clever. You're very close to me. Hey, personal bubble space, please. Also, I'm gay. <laughs> Are you expecting annoying visitors? <laughs> visitors. They actually trolled me. I actually thought the snail was the. No. Is it a dragon? Draconic lady. Darling. Oh, I know. When you ditched us to poach my monster and steal the take's reward. Did I do that? This isn't about money. This is about saving lives. Ha ha ha! Yeah. Uh, I just want to put her in my pocket. I just want to put her in my pocket. Oh my god. At least they didn't think of a different pocket thing. Never mind. I know she's so cute. Oh, I'm sorry. Look, we're not here to fight you. The music. Oh, this will be easy then. Warthog man. Pumbaa's cousin? See you try that again after I I think we're out of your league there, Grog. <laughs> yeah. Is that a dragon? Whatever that is, Ken. Maybe they want to help? I don't think so. God, this city blows. The city blows. Oh, you're not a dragon. Really, you destroy your sword into the darkness? Makes you tremble like children. Is she like a Egyptian like sphinx kind of thing? Because I see it's got like talents of like a but its tail looks like a cat, but it's got wings, so I wonder I forgot which Egyptian goddess that is. Are you I think it is a sphinx. A sphinx. I was right! Yay! I'm not done with the Egyptian goddesses and stuff, because I completely forgot what they were called. Like I think it's a sphinx. Oh, bye. Everyone's getting yoinked. Hopelessly seeking your father's love. Both unprepared. Oh, we're just delving deep into their traumas and psyches, huh? Show me. What have we done? Good, get that sword away from him. Self-pity, begging to be trusted again. Man, she's just going after all. You don't have to call out my shit, okay? I know I can be kind of annoying. No one cares about you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jesus, ow. <laughs> I'm no different. Well, damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's great. <laughs> it's my heart. That's my real strength. Wrong. Flick. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Ouch. Jeez. I'm not leaving. Not giving up. Until someone listens. That is the correct answer. I don't care if I die. None of us do. But we're Scallon goes, I, I do. <laughs> Show me 
The next one? I already have. Oh, good talk. Good talk? Oh, you really don't want to keep that sword. The matron of Raven's own armor lies entombed by a lake to the west. So, do they need a weapon for each dragon? And the other vestiges will be revealed in turn. Wow. This is literally, uh, what do they call them? What quest are they? Fetch it quest? Find this one and bring it to my mate. Nice. Mate? The first. Probably eight, right? No, probably the Oh my god, the snail. Are you serious? Little. Guess I'm quite charming after all. <laughs> I was catching up, but it wasn't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> To Grog's gonna come back all beaten up and <laughs> How about step one? We get a fucking drink. <gasps> Grog! Uh. What happened to you? Oh, an old man beat me up. <sighs> so, booze. Well, yeah. So, booze. <laughs> the dealer here in Vasselheim. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Boomy? <laughs> That's immediately what I thought seeing his design. He reminds me of freaking Boomy from Avatar. And he's called, and he's talking about booming and bomb. Okay. You're the second person to buy black powder this week. Who's really? the first? Ripley. Oh, Ripley. Hey, don't blow yourself up! Bye. Bomb voyage. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what the fuck? I like this new style of like ending our outro they're doing. I'll get it. Sure. sure. I think I got it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let me go ahead and get in my thoughts. Okay, so. Oh, that was the uh, second episode of season two of Fox Mokina. Oh, that, uh, that was some uh, soul searching they did. Grog, not so much. Like, he still has some answers. He Or he needs to get some answers, but he's, like, on his first step. Whereas the others, uh, yeah. So they need vestiges or special weapons that can slay gods that are strong enough to slay the dragons. So I'm guessing they're going to need one vestige per dragon. So they're going to need four in total. I wonder if it's going to be like the element that counters that dragon. So like fire, it'd be either ice or water vestige uh, for the acid. I don't know about that one. Maybe light or something? Like, I don't know. Uh, and then the ice dragon would be fire, I'm going to guess. Um, it'll be interesting to see. So they're pretty much on a fetch quest journey where they gotta get each vestige um yeah for follow-up of the first episode of the season obviously less stuff going on because we don't have the dragons right now in the picture and everything uh but the the sphinx is cool and i love I, I love how she's just in this giant like underground thing that's underneath this tavern <laughs> um but yeah i don't really have much else to say i'm curious to see what grog's gonna like what's gonna go on and go on with grog with that sword of his like He's kind of too dumb to really fall for its, like, it's whispering into his ear and stuff. Um, like, literally, it says, I'm hungry, and it goes, and he's, like, thinks it's his stomach talking to him, like, yeah. Um, so the only time I, I would be worried about Grog is if he, like, cuts down something, and when it feeds off of blood, it, like, I don't know if it clouds him or not, because before we saw what it could really do to him, that uh, the old man, like, pulled the sword away from him, so I'm curious... I thought maybe he was gonna keep this, keep the sword, and not like Grog, like he, like he wasn't gonna give it back to Grog, but he did, or he let him keep it. So um, I don't know. Um, yeah, overall, uh, great episode, or good to great, close to great. <laughs> I don't know how to rate it. Um, I enjoyed the episode though. Uh, so plot was. I would say the plot was great because it delved more into the characters, uh, and like gave them some character development and, and Grog somewhat. Uh, I'm also curious about that mysterious figure that Vox keeps seeing. Yeah, Vox keeps seeing. Vax? Vex? I think it's Vex and Vox, not Vex and Vax. Maybe it is Vex and Vax, that's why, because it sounds so close. But, um, I know Vex is the sister, so it would be Vax. Um, so I'm curious. <sighs> but it's interesting, though, when it appears, the sister isn't, like, clutching her head in pain or anything, so it must, that must not be what she felt. Um, back at the, uh, city, or the capital, so, I don't know, but I'm, it's gotta be something from their past when they're little, I'm guessing, 
because it seems like Vax recognized it or them. So, um, yeah, anyway, as I was saying, uh, plot was great, characters were great, animation was great, music was great. Um, yeah, those are my thoughts for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and keep ring bright. See ya!